So now we're going to discuss a clinical scenario. Now this is also going to give you an idea about one important condition that you have to remember, which is also considered to be an important or the most common rickettsial infection seen in India. Now the clinical scenario that was given is it is about a five-year-old child who was brought to the pediatric OPD with a history of fever with chills since one week. There is complaints of decreased urine output since three days. Now on examination, the child was found to be febrile and there was also periorbital puffiness, hepatosplenomegaly and lesion on the right axilla. So they've also given you a figure here. Which of the following is the investigation of choice? Now in the given investigations, we are talking about uh, one specific condition that you should uh, think when it comes to the image that is given to you. Now here we are talking about an image of what is known as a black escar. So black escar is something that is very 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 typically seen with scrub typhus. This is not something that you can miss. So coming to the diagnosis, so the diagnostic test of choice here happens to be uh, you know of the given options it is what is known as wheel felix test so from the history that you get the most important thing that they talk about is the lesion which is seen on right axilla now though this is not very consistent with the triad that you usually talk about when it comes to scrub typhus you should also remember that the typical triad of scrub typhus is only seen in 40 to 50 percent of the cases so it's not the typical triad that's seen in all the cases now what do you also have to remember here the investigation that is usually done in suspected cases of scrub typhus from the given option is wheel felix test now what do you have to remember about wheel felix test so wheel felix test is not a confirmatory test it is a non-specific test now it's a tube agglutination test in which you know serial dilutions of patient serum is treated with uh, the non-motile strains of protease so the important points that you have to remember about scrub typhus first scrub typhus is also called as chigorosis because chigorosis or is nothing but you know something that you have to remember that the mite or the stage of mite which is nothing but the chigar is the only one which is uh, you know which comes in contact with humans and is responsible for disease now the other thing to remember is this is uh, caused by an agent which is called as orientiate tsutsugamushi now the vector is called as thrombiculid mites so the mites are the ones which spread the uh, disease now coming to the clinical triad so what is the important thing that you have to remember about the clinical triad so we usually talk about escar like i told you escar was discussed in the given uh, clinical scenario so escar is present there is no uh, history about regional lymphadenopathy and maculopapular rash as given you know or which is usually considered to be the triad now the reason being that many a times this particular scenario is not commonly seen now the thing here which clinches the diagnosis is the presence of escar so what would you advise the patient to undergo is a test which is called as wheel felix test which is nothing but an heterophile agglutination test so here you're trying to identify uh, you know rickettsial antibodies by using you know various protease strains basically it is your ox2 ox19 and oxk now this is a, a test which is based on cross reactivity of the lipopolysaccharide antigen now in scrub typhus remember oxk antibodies uh, is seen so that is very very important for you to know and it differentiates between all the others like your endemic typhus epidemic typhus uh, or when it comes to you know certain other conditions like your uh, spotted fever so this is one test which is uh, used for you know more like a uh, screening test now this is not a confirmatory test always keep in mind this is a non-specific test now there is another important concept that you have to remember which is called as your zoonotic triad so what is zoonotic triad here zoonotic triad here basically is mites with the presence of small mammals now it's called as scrub typhus because of scrub vegetations and lastly it is wet season so you usually see an increased number of cases uh, during the rainy season so these are all the important points you have to remember about scrub typhus